Welcome to part three of a three video series regarding the Moxie UC8100 and InTouch Edge HMI. My name is Chris Carlson with Logic, one of the Wear Great Plains. And in this video, we're going to connect our InTouch Edge IoT View project to the cloud and Aviva Insight to view our data. So now let's add a connection to Aviva Insight and push some data up. So back in the IDE, I'm going to go ahead and stop the project. And we need to add a trend worksheet. So the history format type is going to be historian. And we get some additional choices when we select historian. For this example, we want Aviva Insight CSV JSON. So it automatically fills in the server, online.wonderware.com. So next, we need to go get an authentication token. So I've logged into Aviva Insight or Wonderware Online. This is the address to get logged in. You can get a free trial account. This is a blank solution that I've created. So we need to go up to the administration portion. Select the data sources. And then we need to add one. So I'm just going to give this the name the host name of the UC8100 that I configured in the first video. And here's our bearer token. And we can just copy this to the clipboard and paste it into the configuration for the historian. So I'm going to configure this to save on the second trigger and also whenever the tag changes. And then we'll browse for our tank level and add it to our worksheet. I'll save it. I'll connect to my UC8100 and push over the changed project files. I'm going to run the project. Let's go log into the web interface to the UC8100. I'll we'll start changing the tank level so we can see an update on Aviva Insight. So back in the data sources, you can see that we haven't published yet. It does take a couple minutes to start, but you can hit the refresh button up here and get an indication of when it starts to push data. So now we're back at the Aviva Insight homepage. Searching is very easy, so we can just start typing our tank level in the search bar, and we'll pull up a value. So we're getting a value now. I'm going to change the time frame to the last hour, and then we'll go in and take a look at a trend. So back in the web page, we'll change the value a little bit. Going to re-log in. Hitting the refresh button 
you can see our trend updates with the data that we've changed from the web page interface. So that was a simple example of getting a quick project working in IoT View on a MOXA UC8100 and pushing the data up to Aviva Insight or Wonderware Online. Some enhancements to make, I've shown connecting to the UC8100 via SSH with username and password. Probably want to secure it with certificates. Also, it's a good idea to change the default username and password in the UC8100. Thanks for watching.